What is up, guys? We are back again with part three of our ScreenFlow series uh, this week. Um, if you would like to watch uh, ScreenFlow number one, make sure you uh, follow that Twitter bird there and she tried with ScreenFlow number one. If you'd like to follow number two, click that Twitter bird right there and uh, you guys get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, yeah, there you go. Click those guys and I'll shoot you over to the first and second uh, ScreenFlow series. This is number three. In number three, we're covering how to add text in ScreenFlow, which is very basic, and also how to add basic transitions and how to cut your clips okay so here I have a basic um, edit here for you guys um, just thrown together and as you see here at the very end it took me a while to uh, stop the video feed thanks and have a good night and I don't want that in my video okay so I'm gonna go over here to the clip and just press and, and highlight where I want it uh, I'll do it right there I'm looking down select both clips and I can press command shift T as you see there is just cut the clips I can go in here and delete these save my changes and as you see here, it, it stops right, the, right at the end. Because it's, like, it's that easy to cut clips. Now I had to add text. As you see over here in my uh, tab bar on the newest version of ScreenFlow, you have a nice little text T uh, icon. Click on that and you have a very, very nice selection here. Now if I want to add text here, like in this video where I say, What is up guys, this is EB Macintosh Tips. Make sure you guys follow us on Twitter. So I want to shoot a link up in the corner right there. So what I want to do is just press add text box. Once this icon is clicked, you will see there's a very nice yellow with a blue text box in the middle. You can shorten the length of this to your personal preference. That'd be fine there. Double click on the text box and put in your Twitter uh, um, link. So I'm going to put uh, twitter.com slash Macintosh tips. Okay, once I have this, I can just click and drag across to wherever I want it. You also can control this by the font size, fill, outline, background, and also your margins. Okay, that looks good right there. The coolest thing in text that I like is uh, is doing either an image for your background and or doing a fill like this graduate here. That just looks very sleek. Okay, so I'm going to keep that because I like that and save my changes. Okay, once I have that, then I also want to add another text box when I talk about my Ustream. Link right up there and also on Ustream, link right there. So of course, just go right there over your cursor, hit add text box, it's going to shoot you another text box, shoot your link for your Ustream or wherever your URL is. I'll just do that, shorten it up for you guys, and uh, put it right there. And of course, do the same thing I did over here just to make it look symmetrical. Boom. And that is about it. So guys, of course, you can see that you have little margins here that lines your stuff up as your video goes along. So that's very nice at ScreenFlow built in. Other ways you can add text is design your own in Photoshop or Pixelmator. You just add it right below, just like that, as a picture, and then you're good to go. So guys, that's how to put text in a video. You guys can play it on the personal preferences, just like that. Okay. If I would like to um, put a uh, transition during my video, it's very easy to do. Okay. You can either uh, cut your clip and add a nice fade. So let's go down here, and I just, I just want to select everything that's in the way here. So I'm just going to select it all. And wherever my clip is, I'm going to add a video action. And I can I can make a nice fade here. And whatever your color is in the background, of course, you can change the color by just putting a picture and blowing it up to your size. Then you can have that fade to whatever color you want. And, of course, fade back in. Okay, you just do a, uh, a opacity sorry, from 100 to 100 back with another video action. So I have it there. I'm going to save my changes. And I'm also going to move it there to the very end. Boom. So as you can see that guy there, when I play the video back, have a good night. Have a nice fade. Of course, you can you can control these um, by lengthening and shortening. You know, to to your personal preference, just like this, for example. Lengthen a little bit long and. Thanks and have a good night. Very slow fade. So guys, save your changes, and that's how to add text, how to add transitions, and also um, how to cut clips. Now, how do I add a picture overlay? I showed you this in video number two. You guys can click that URL right up there. Uh, to find that video, but I'm going to show you guys uh, one more time because I had several questions on how to do it. So I pulled a picture of my Ustream here page, and I want this Ustream page to show up while I'm talking about uh, my Ustream link. Okay, so I'm going to take this and drag it into my project. You can drag it straight in, or you can add, add it to the media by using your Add Media button, which is located uh, right down here. Add Media. Okay, so I want to use this, and I want to have it behind the, not only do I want to have behind the text, 
but also I want it in front of my uh, background. So I'm going to put it between the eyesight and the, the, uh, the background here, right there. And as you can see there, I have it in the background. But also, the text lays on top. So that's very nice. Okay? So as I play back, say I want to have this transition, my Ustream, transition over when I'm talking about Ustream. So I just have this clip go over, and I want to add a nice little video action. So I'm going to fade it out at first, save my changes, add a video action, fade it in, go to the very clip at the very end of the clip, add another video action, and fade it out. Now you have a very nice fade in and fade out effect as you play through the video when you're talking about your URL. You guys check this out. And also all the other links will be in the description box to your right. Let me go back just a little bit. And also on Ustream, link right there. And also all the other links will be in the description box to your right. So guys, it's that simple. You can make a great project in ScreenFlow in just minutes. Okay, so make sure you guys follow us on Twitter with these Tweety Birds coming down and uh, click one and two to watch those uh, previous videos. Hope you guys have enjoyed and more to come soon. Catch you guys later. Peace.